Well, hello, hello neighbors. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, let's get into today's General Hospital. Um, first, I thought that I uploaded a video yesterday because I was so happy to see Matt and it did not upload. Suckers. Anywho, um, so this will probably be between yesterday and today's episode so let's get in from yesterday i'm so happy to see mac back i'm so thankful that he is on his road of recovery and healing and um i can see <laughs> i i saw as soon as he stepped through that door yesterday and was greeting everyone and saying how much he missed everyone and everybody was saying the same child i felt it the waterworks came out of nowhere i was like well dang what's what's going on i, I forget yes i mean max has been around for a very long time and we like to keep it that way also from yesterday i want to say yay to alexis getting her uh her win for her appeal for the getting her license back yes we need that she'll be a lawyer in don't no time and we sure gonna need a few we're going to need a few for all the shenanigans that's going around here, okay? Yes, we, yes, we is. Now, yesterday I was mentioning about what I said the day prior. I was just saying that we needed a certain group to get Finn back on his tracks. And one of those were Anstella, Tracy, Alexis, and I said you had to throw in Portia and Terry because they the boss and that will jeopardize his work they need that and i said to finish it off you're gonna have to let violet grow up and you're gonna have to let her know what was going on and send her for the final piece however um from yesterday we got Aunt stella in the mix now portia terry came today i was like oh they must have heard me because thank you yes we was like uh Where's Terry been? She's been in the attic for a very long time. You need to let her out. I was just saying yesterday, ever since they gave the job of chief to uh, Portia, that's all you saw. I was like, where's Terry? We, we need combined forces, honey. We got combined forces today. We got combined forces from today. Now, I got a few questions. First of all, um, it was mentioned today, Liz said that she still had guardianship over Valet. This woman been walking around with guardianship over Valley ever since Finn's first candy popping days. Uh, if that was the case, I don't know what was all this stalling. You could have went up there and had her anytime. What happened? Why, why did we... Uh, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. That, that confused me. But today... But today we got um, Portia and Terry having a meeting with Finn because Finn's first day of back to work was today. He, I mean, he dressed it nice. It was all in black. Probably going to fit his dark, dark mood that he's going to be in for the rest of the season. Um, we had Finn getting ready. He was letting Violet go with Maxie and Georgie to the pool. You know, our favorite, favorite hangout spot. And um, when he sent her off, he was getting ready to get ready for work. However, he pulled out a bottle. First, I started panicking. I thought he was going to take a sip, but he did not. He controlled himself, put the bottle back, put the glass back, grabbed his ID, went to the hospital. As soon as he got off that elevator, he bumped into Liz. Mm. I got one question. Why in the hell did Liz go to work? Because my behind would have been somewhere on vacation, honey. You knew you ran your big mouth to Portia and you knew what was coming behind that. So why did you go to work? At least why wasn't you over there at the coffee house hanging with Jason for the day or something? Because I panicked for a second. I was like, girl, you better run. He was piping mad. But he got off the elevator, saw Liz, ran over there. Then Liz said, you know, I don't want this to be awkward because, you know, what happened between us. And uh, don't worry, you ain't got to do nothing for me. You know, you Valor's aunt or whatever. That's, that's you know, that's as far as we we go. She looking at him like, you know, 
She was like, I still love you and we still family and whatnot. And, you know, I just want the best for, for you. And he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, yeah, I got patience. I got to go uh, check in. He was very arrogant. <laughs> very. I mean, he was just, he kept that same level. Yeah. He kept that same level of pettiness right there. So, um, as he went to go take two steps away, Portia was right there. And Portia was like, um, yeah, hey, yeah, glad you're back. But, uh, we, can we go to my office real quick? I need to discuss a few things with you. First, he was trying to blow her off. I'm like, I got patience, you know. Can you make an appointment and this and that and third day? No, no, no. I'm a, I'm a need, I'm speaking as a boss. I'm, I'm a need to actually, me and Terry need to see you. <laughs> he turned around, gave Liz that look, and then walked off. He was like, lead the way. They get him back in the office. It took only two seconds, just like everybody else's patience. That uh, it went south real quick. As soon as he went up there, he was trying to be arrogant, talking about he got patience to go see, and he's eager to get back there to check his files and blah 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 blah. Terry and <laughs> Portia looking at him like, okay, bro, all right, that's that's nice, but. But uh, we got to go through over a few things and all that. They was trying to make it nice and polite and from a friendship era. But his arrogant and ego was just getting real high. And um, he pretty much was like, uh, yeah, they was like, you could take a seat through this. We got to go through some stuff. And he was like, yeah, no, no, thanks. The last time I took a seat out of here or whatnot, um, we we uh we say it was a bad experience or something like that. Um, sir, you about to have a, a, a another bad experience. So that was like, no, yeah, we just want to make sure that you know we could go over some um things, protocols, and and all that. <sighs> yeah, you might have just let it wrap. He was saying something else, and it's, they was like, listen, we want to talk to you about the drink. Portia we came. In. He was like, just tell me what this is about, and she was like, we want to talk to you about the drinking. Yeah, and you know that's right, cause they, you you keep playing with Portia. She ain't got no patience with you either, bro. She gonna let it rip. She gonna let it rip, and she did. So he was like, "Oh, my drinking? Who ratted me out, Liz?" And they both looked. <laughs> he was like, "You ain't got to say nothing. I know it was her. Y'all ain't even come to me and ask me about my my drinking and this and that third eye." Um, he did go to Liz and ask her if she wanted to take his alcohol level to see if he was drunk right there or whatnot and he offered the same thing to them and they was like no i mean we're going to have that basically you're going to have to have your alcohol tested uh drug test you're going to have to go to meetings twice you're going to have to connect this with your sponsor you're going to have to do yo they laid out all those things that he's going to have to do mind you to do all that behind doors so it doesn't go public and ruin his image nor the hospital baby well he ain't he didn't take too kindly of that and he pretty much cussed them all the way out from south carolina to georgia like he told them this hospital wouldn't been standing if it wasn't for all the millions of dollars that he gave once he solved the Blackwoods disease and signed the rights to the hospital just in that third y'all wouldn't have no jobs if it wasn't me I mean yo he was in there with all types of Scarface type of him I started this who me that's who yeah that was him and so he basically was like I'm not doing none of that I quit so okay cool he quit he runs out of there <laughs> And I'm like, Liz, she was right there when they pulled him and said to come have this meeting. Your dumb behind should have took a break and left. Okay? Because if I knew what I knew and I did what I did, I'm leaving. Okay? But as soon as I see him walking off with the bosses, oh, I'm... Bye. <laughs> no. Instead, what's she doing? Walking around. <laughs> he got off that elevator, girl. I'm like, run. Run, girl. He was like, hey, you, you went and ratted me out and this and that third day, da, 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 da. I mean, he was yelling at her, saying all kinds of stuff. That's when I learned that she said she had a guardianship because you put me in it. Because he was like, you stay away from me. You stay away from my daughter. She was like, but that's my name. And he was like, I don't give a damn. <laughs> you stay away from everything I love or whatever and walked away. Um... It got pretty ugly right there. I don't know why 
didn't Portia and Terry think about, you know, when they pulled him to go to the meeting, they should have turned to her and said, hey, it might have been a good time for you. You know, go take a half a day. See you later. Bye, 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 bye. No, 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 no. Anyway, um, after that, shenanigans, Portia tried to come down to talk to Liz, and Liz is like, Liz, yeah, uh-huh. Portia time to talk about, uh, you did the right thing for Finn. You did the right thing for the patients in the hospital. And she was like, yeah, um, yeah, uh, but did I do the right thing for Violet? Because now she's really on her own. Now, getting back to Matt real quick, um, the reason he was out, or, I mean, we know the the real reason why the actor was gone, but for the character uh, storyline, he went off to go help Frisco. He had to talk with Felicia. Um, they're making out on the couch because Maxie and the kids are not there. Spinelli is off doing meeting up with Sam Samantha. That's another mother. <laughs> anyway, so he mentions to Felicia that, you know, that's where he was at. He was uh, helping Frisco. I forgot when exactly. Is he moving or something? I don't know. Either way, he was all that time he was spending with Frisco and Frisco... Um, was just giving him appreciation for being there and raising the kids, being there for Felicia, being staying behind the Port Charles and just being a real stand up guy to the family that he left behind. That was, that was, I didn't see that coming because Frisco, I mean, it's been decades. That man and never was, I didn't think he was going to claim anything, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Gave a nice um, homage to Matt. So that was nice to mention right there. And, um, for Samantha, I might just go ahead and slide on over to the left. She met up with Spinelli over there. Now, what I was saying yesterday, uh, the day before, um, how she's, like, split into two people. I know it's probably half because of the writings, the writer staffs, and the switcheroos and all that. And they really, 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 really <laughs> making her into two people. Well, the day we got to see a little bit of the other some, Samantha until she found out they'd be that reason why Jason was gone for two years and she had to now it was a file that you couldn't read as Spinelli was saying you can only hear the audio you can't do anything to it. you can't alter it. you can't delete it you can just listen to it and you can copy it <laughs> well uh Sam was like all right well just play it so at least we could know what they have over his head and maybe we could try and, and do something on the back end but they found out that it was all carly spinelli standing there he all happy to me oh that's just like jason doing it all for the person he love and this and that there you know he's all feeling all honoring but honey that switcheroo cycle look in sam's face uh she couldn't even say anything why Spinelli just going off to him. Oh, it's great. It's this man. She looking at him like he got two horns on his head. She went off. She was like, what? She was like, anybody who thinks this is honorable, I don't care who it is, is dead to me pretty much. This and that third. She went off. She's like, make a copy of this. She's like, you. he stayed away. Uh, he made it seem like it wasn't a choice. He chose to stay away from his family and friends and everything else for her? For her? Oh, man, 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 man. We knew that was coming. We knew she was going to... That was like the last person we wanted to find out first. Well, she made him make a copy of that. And she marched her little self over there to Carly to play for her. She got her in the hotel uh, uh, hallway right now, so... She'll be playing that for her tomorrow. So when I say to let people come out the attic and let them play again, they was really letting it out. I mean, we got Robert here today. We got to see Robert today, and we ain't seen him in a couple of months, I think. Um, just realized he was missing. Um, we got Robert today, Anna popping up over Maxie Place to see Mac and trying to catch up and are trying to catch Mac up for what's going on. He he's know that Anna is the commissioner now. And also, Mac is the chief of detectives. So that's what he was doing. I was wondering why he wasn't commissioner. Duh. He's the chief of detectives. So he will be going back to work tomorrow. And um, they pretty much quartered him up about being uh, Jaggard being in town. And he's not the exact Jaggard they used to know. And, um... Mac offered 
to help Anna, you know, smooth things over with Jagger. She's like, no, I got this. She got that text from Jason also because at the coffee house, you know, he gets a lot of visitors. Carly went over there today to tell him that Drew will be running for congressman and he needs to be concerned because once that happens, the whole quarter main business will be out there and so will his. First, he tried to play cool about it, but then she was panicking about it and then he was like, listen, um, I got a job for uh, for them to do. Um, once I'm finished that, I can get my life back. So don't worry about me. Just trust me. Mind you, she didn't even talk about that nice little conversation that Sam had with, with her, which she should have. She should have at least brought it up something because um, it's all in smoke now. It's all in smoke. So um, she said, okay, uh, just take care of yourself. We'll see you soon. And when she leaves, Anna pops back over there and he tells her, hey, listen, um, where you at on this case? <laughs> now, ain't it supposed to be like two days max, maybe? I don't know, but it makes her conversation make it seem like it was a week long. She was like, yeah, I'm real close. It's just been kind of slow. I said, see, Anna, you playing. You playing. See, it's not, you're not in danger. Everybody else, him and everything that he done did for the past two years is in danger. And you don't care because you're not urgent about it enough because it got something to do with Valentine. He's like, listen, yeah, I ain't got that much time no more. Um, Either you take care of it or I will because Drew is running for congressman. She's like, wait, wait, what now? She's like, hey, yeah, he's running for congressman. All of my business is about to be out. I'm be about to be on the front page, and that's not going to help Jagger. And da, 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 da. So she's standing there like, <sighs> yes, whatever this big old plan that you claim that you have, you need to hurry up and do that, Anna DeVay. Yesterday we had Geo at that pool. Listen, uh, what I wanted to say about him, um, he told Sonny that he wanted to pay his own way for school because he got a nice scholarship that pays for the whole thing and um, he didn't want to take advantage of him. He was having that discussion with Sonny and he was also having that discussion with Josh yesterday. And I was saying, Josh, you just made friends with this with this guy. Don't lose him by bad mouth and his good old, good old Uncle Sonny. Keep all your bad thoughts to yourself. And she did. She did it with a smile. And was like, oh, I'm sure Sonny appreciated that and that made him happy or something like that. But she did it with a smile. No side marks, no shade, no nothing. No, you know, it could, it's the least he could do or nothing. Nothing, nothing like that. And also, Gia was asking her if she asked Michael about the apartment yet. Now, mind you, I know everybody's up root like, it's Monica House. It's Monica House. Listen, people, we know Monica is not going to be over there talking about, it's my house. It's my house anymore. She's older. The actress is older. She's, you know, trying, still trying to heal. She's still on the road of recovery. Um, pretty much all we could probably could get from her is a video, maybe one shot in at the office or a phone call. So just let Tracy win this. Okay. Tracy got this. She can handle everything. We'll be all right. So, uh, she, Josh was saying that no, she didn't, but she know that she could. She'll ask him after work. That was yesterday. Today, she done bumped in to Gio at the pool telling him, First of all, she asked him about what happened between him and Trina. And then he explained that thing, said that they were good. And then she explained that uh, just be careful because Trina had a lot of uh, grief and everything. She lost a boyfriend unexpectedly and da-da-da-da. So he, so he like, um, yeah, she was explaining to me that she lost somebody close to him, but she didn't tell me it was a boyfriend. Okay. So he was like, I, I will tread lightly. So... He's trying to talk to her about something and then she just like look like she, you know how a person looks, how their face looks when they left the conversation. Yeah, he was like, yeah, da 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 Josh? And then you turn, he turns around and look, oh, who's standing behind her? Dex in a uniform. You know how them uniforms got, got them. She couldn't. She, she was like, huh, what? Oh, that's right. <laughs> yeah, bye. Trina came over, grabbed Gio, talking about some towels. They walked off having a conversation in the background. Dex came up. Mm, mm, mm. 
seems that he needs just help and some pointers for volleyball because he's supposed to be doing the PCP volleyball game with the other guys and he don't know nothing about volleyball. He just doing it to, to earn some some kicks. <laughs> she explains, however, she's like, yeah, this weekend's kind of busy because we're moving. So dang, you went and asked and got the okay overnight that fast? That was yesterday shift. See what I'm saying right here? And don't, don't, please don't ask about Monica. It obviously is it's no factor right here. So he was like, oh, I'm going to miss, uh, that's too bad. I, I would have loved the pointer. She was like, you never going to make it as detective if you don't know how to, you know, if you give up too easy, you got to compromise and leave the truth or something. She was like, how about you help us move and then we'll, um, I will show you some pointers for that book. So they got a date for it that yay i guess <laughs> also today we got nina and maxi and james at the pool i forgot that nina was james um aunt. <laughs> he's over there talking to her about uh pool and, and and swimming and stuff and um maxi uh sends him off and she hurry up and pull nina nina down she's like listen i took care of the business for um blaze uh, thing for deception and photo crimson and all that good jazz. Nina is still walking in clouds from Willow's birthday party, by the way. Oh, wait, hold up. Willow's birthday party. I got to mention it, which is sorry. Um, Jason said today that, um, to Carly, Carly said, oh, you know, Drew made the announcement at Willow's birthday party, which you have known if you had shown up. Listen, sir, I'm going to need you to do one thing. And listen, Jason, Carly, Sonny, and Sam is all my Rat Pack, okay? I grew up on them. We the same age. I'm the same age as Sam. Like, they my peoples. So I could call them out in their bullshit, and all of them was doing some bullshit. But right that day, that was some bullshit. I'm going to need Jason to actually grow. I don't, uh, All this watch, rinse, and repeat of the same emotions and the same attitude. Uh, yeah, I didn't go. Michael invited me, but he knew I wouldn't show. You should have. She saved the damn life. Okay? If you wasn't over there in the boathouse licking bullet holes, she the one who got you back up on your feet. You Damn, you could at least showed up for two minutes. Alright, that's my rap on that one. Anyway, um, so, <laughs> he was, she was like, um, Nina, Maxie was like, uh, Nina was like, I'm still, I got to see Nina, uh, Willow, and she asked me to stay for the party. So Maxie pretty much called her on the bull ish. She was like, so you and Drew is still lying and manipulating uh, Willow because that's all lies. She was like, you knew that she was having a party. He knew that she wasn't invited. Y'all arranged for this secret so-called meeting just to chance of a whim she's like why don't you just sit back let it grow naturally like it's been doing just fine without all this craziness shenanigans that it's going to do nothing but push you and willow further away and then you're gonna have drew up in the mix so then she let her know oh we're gonna be just fine we're gonna be he gets everything he wants i get what i want everybody's happy she's like because he's running for congressman even max he was like he's he doing what mm-hmm yeah, he running for congressman, and I'm going to make sure he went. Oh, no. That's not good. <laughs> That's not going to be good. And Maxie pretty much said the same thing, and she got the concerned look on her face, and we all got the same concerned look on our face, Maxie. Yeah, your friend Nina is nuts. Yeah, so Finn went back to his place, you know, to go finish off that bottle that he wanted to start with the bottle before work. But, you know, good thing he saved it for the end. Um, Violet is with Maxi. They wanted her to spend the night. But Violet was like, yeah, my dad's not going to let me. So she was like, um, that's okay. We'll make our arrangements for another day. And um, because I promised her dad that. We'll take her back at 7, and he's expecting her because James and Georgie, by the way, Georgie, the actress they got to play Georgie should look exactly like she could be related to the real Georgie we had. I mean, well, I don't know if they family. I don't know if this is her daughter, but dang, that's a perfect match. She looked just like a Georgie. I'm loving it even more. Please keep her because we love the name. It reminds us of Georgie and all we got to do is look at her face. She really do look like Georgie. 
So anyway, they wanted her Violet to stay over because they wanted to build tree house or something. They, like James is really big on this tree house. Cody and Max supposed to get together to help James with this tree house. I, mm -hmm, I don't know. She he even asked Nina if Nathan uh, ever built a tree house because you know he he's in the middle of making one. He wants to make it real cool. So um, it was nice to get a Nathan name mentioned today. We be forgetting the. the you know, just don't mention Peter. I mean, we won't have to mention him for Bailey. Hmm? So, yeah. Next episode, we're going to see Finn lose it, lose it. And, I mean, I think Alexa's side hustle should be um being a psychic. Because, man, it was supposed to be an overnight. I don't know if it was overnight or two nights ago. But she called it. She's like, call me when you hit rock bottom because it's going to be sooner than you thought. You ain't never lie because they done lost your job within the span of 48 hours, Lex. Good point. So glad you're going to be a lawyer again. So that was pretty much it for today's episode. In yesterday's episode, um, it was some pointers like Geo, his real father. I, I don't know who his real father is, but I think all of that was a lie because his mama, you know, went to the heavens when he was 10 and they pretty much uh adopted him so he's not blood related to the brooklyn and all that he's more adopted and so who's your real folks people um geo who's no more important who's your real daddy because if they had to lie to say that he was gone he could either be a dangerous man or we got misinformation so hey we'll be looking forward for that i just i don't want the scenario that's going pointing to drew to be the dad just because he was in a war i mean we already had oscar and and you got a rent i no, uh, uh i mean just to make him a quarter man do you gotta be drew I and mean, jason give me a break here anyway if i left anything out for those two days leave a comment below hit the like button and i'll see you kitties later in the chat bye